We are starting a seed library here at the Fredericksburg branch. Um, our official launch date is Earth Day, which is coming up. It is on April 22nd at 10 a.m. We'll be having a little celebration where people can come and we'll have little potted things for them to take home. I think we're gonna do, I think we decided on cucumbers. So if you come on Earth Day, you can get a little cucumber yeah. plant, plant, plant to take home. Um, and uh, that's going to be our kickoff celebration. But right now what we're doing is our big seed drive. So we are looking for people to donate seeds to the library. Um, we're looking for heirloom seeds if possible. And it's been amazing. We have gotten so many this. donations. <laughs> Look at this, Erin. <laughs> it is kind of crazy. It is a three layer project here. Um, we've got stuff and stuff and stuff. <laughs> it is just amazing. There's, there, there is some work to be done. There is. So what we're doing for each of them that we're getting them donated in little packets like this that'll just have the name on it um, and then we're turning it into something that eventually will look like this where it'll have the type of um, what vegetable it is or what herb because we're looking for all sorts of things herbs vegetables plants um, the actual type that it is because apparently there are lots of different types of these vegetables and then the scientific name then what we're going to do is have some really important information for people to make it easier for them when they're gardening mm -hmm. so how to space it how many days to harvest um, what kind of sun it needs and then we're going to include some growing tips for it and this will be on every single package of the seeds that you can get for free from the library starting on earth day well seed libraries are it's a very um, big growing movement in america for libraries to get involved in seed libraries because you know the rising cost of food and people not being connected to their food anymore people are trying to reverse that so libraries having a place to go for people to come get the free seeds and then to learn more about them so we're partnering with downtown greens and one once a month, um, starting this summer, June, July, and August, we'll have a, a monthly gardening program with them where people can learn more about this. In May, we're gonna have a free hydroponics class where people can um, sign up to build a little hydroponics kit so you can grow yeah. things, even if you don't have an outdoor space. Say you live in an apartment and you don't have anywhere to grow them. Well, if you have a small corner in your kitchen or maybe you have a deck, you can still grow things with a small, free hydroponics kit that a very generous person in our community is providing to the first hundred people who show up. You know, we're all about like lifelong learning and, you know, committing to people so that they can learn all about different things to pique their interest, to keep them growing as they, you know, get older. People need to be able to do, um, to have these interests and hobbies, especially, you know, it's good for your gray matter. It's good for everything. It's good for your, just being a positive person, getting outside yeah. and doing a little gardening or thinking like, hey, I made the salad and I, you know, I grew all these vegetables myself. It's so, it's so really cool because honestly, in our seed library, we have kale, we have beets, we have lettuces, we have tomatoes we have cucumbers so basically any type of vegetable you're gonna want here you're gonna be able to get here um, including like watermelons which are not a vegetable but they're also very tasty <laughs> well, I mean you're using an old card catalog to store all of we, this we are when they renovated um, this this building um, the Fredericksburg library the third floor we had an old card catalog up here that we were using and we've been able to repurpose that and really showcase it so that we're going to have all of the things organized by vegetables, herbs, flowers, and um, you know, all and fruits, all the good things. So you'll be able to come in, browse what you're looking for, borrow, and then here's where the library part comes in. Um, when you harvest your own fruits and vegetables or herbs, you can take some of those seeds, dry them out, and then return them to the library so that other people then can continue to use them. You can return your seeds. You can return your seeds. We're so excited. <laughs> so the 22nd, if, if people want to really get in on the opening of this. Yes. The, the first big day to this. A hundred percent. It's going to be up here on the third floor of the Fredericksburg branch. Like I said, we're going to have some gardening activities. Downtown Greens will be present for our launch. And that's when people will be able to come in and start grabbing and borrowing things. And um, if they have questions, we'll have great books and informational things. The Master Gardeners, the VA Cooperative Extension, who are, you know, we've partnered with before on other things things they have great information on their website and we're printing out a lot of that to provide to the pe to the public so that they can easily do these things as well this has been a project that um, some of our staff have been really passionate about for a really long time to be able to get this to come to fruition has just felt amazing because it's you know really positive way of helping people out getting them back to connect to nature um, you know maybe even helping lower those bills at home by growing yeah. a little bit of their own food I mean it's just awesome